This video will demonstrate how to connect a car template to a SQL Server database. If you are familiar with connecting to Excel, this should really be no problem at all. Almost everything works in exactly the same way. You only need to specify the server and database name in the data definition, rather than selecting an Excel file. Let's switch this card, which is now connected to an Excel file, to SQL Server. We first go to Configuration Edit Card Definition and open the Data Definition Wizard. We change the database type to SQL Server. Maybe you noted that there was also an option to connect using ODBC. Although that might work fine too, we recommend using the native SQL Server connection and limiting the use of ODBC to databases that we do not support natively. Native connections give a better performance and do require fewer configurations. Now we need to type the server name and the database name. If SQL Server was configured for integrated Windows authentication, you do not need to supply a username and a password. When using SQL Server authentication, you have to select Login with username and password and specify the login information. It is good practice to create a dedicated user in SQL Server with no more permissions than really needed, in order to protect the database as good as possible. The login information is stored in the data definition file using Rheindahl encryption, to avoid unauthorized use of the password. When we click on Next, Card Exchange establishes the connection to SQL Server. From this page on, everything is essentially the same as when connecting to Excel. We need to select a view or table we want to connect to and its primary key. The next page asks for the information to be shown in the name list. Although the second and middle second middle name and last name are defined, I will hide them in the name list to avoid that it fills up too much space. Editing will be allowed again, and since we are connecting to a relational database, it is now also possible to delete records. This page allows for special configurations of the database edit window, which will be explained in another video. The last page is for the storage items, which are needed to write back information to the database. Let's create a storage item for the photos. In this database, the photos are stored in a separate table, which is linked to the main table in a view. This improves the performance of queries on the main table and is considered a good practice. Do not forget to set the option Use the selected column for specials like photos. Since we changed to another database, we have to revise the mappings. The name mapping is still OK, but the job title needs to be remapped to another database field. The photo mapping also requires a change, as we are no longer using image files in the photos folder, but retrieving the image from the database itself. Finally, the storage item for the photo needs to be mapped too.
and there we go. The template is now connected to SQL Server and showing its contents in the name list. Thank you for your attention.